Hello and welcome back to Cud Buds with Narf. Ha, you got it. I got it. Now you're going to mess it up going the other way around, right? That's right. I'm going to be, say, uh, Nalen or something. Nalen. Yeah. That's the new deep lore. New deep lore. So we're leaving. We're Oh, no, we're going back in because we just dropped off all our books. Yeah, we, uh, we brought the first 114 volumes of uh, <laughs> Ubermore out. We are only three strata deep. Me, this could go. Me at a book so a store sale, and I, I found, <laughs> like, the Forgotten Realms volumes for 3.5 or 3rd edition. I must save these. They have 3rd edition Sunless Citadel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wasn't expecting the glow thing to attack me, but... Is that a legendary <laughs> turret? Oh. Oh. I was really hoping that was going to be friends to uh, yeah. robots. Well, I mean... His core faction got replaced with the with the uh, cult. Well, I guess that's good for us because we don't have to dabble. Wow, you get twenty two hundred yeah. XP from that thing. Yeah. What did it have to offer? I wonder if it can it turn have mutation. No, I don't think it can. Uh -huh. The traveling rod of Ubermore. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say yeah. it must be teleportation. Yeah. What did uh, what did Wait, it was offer? that burners for? What was that burners for toasting? You take burners for toasting. Is that, a, is that a chromed bookshelf, or is it merely graffitied? Probably just painted or graffitied. So, what uh, What does... Oh, I guess it just grants teleportation. I was like, oh yeah, what, what kind of stat bonus are we going to get from... No, teleportation. Uh, Which, I mean, like, right. it could be cool to just carry and, like, use to teleport if we ever need to. Mm. Acting against labor laws restricting the rights of soldiers. Ixormas the fifth led an army to the gates of Mibikishnat. He sacked Mibikishnat and persecuted its citizens, forcing them to change its name to Igur. Oh gosh. Ixormas Grad. Nice. You got through it. <laughs> My brain couldn't. <laughs> Ixormas Grab. Uh. Oh, actually, as long as we're here. What are we cooking with? Oh, okay. Meh. I'll just take that one. Really good one um, I've been doing is Spine Fruit Jam and Hulk Honey. Yeah, that's a good one. I mean, Spine Fruit Jam and anything is good. I guess Spine Fruit Jam and Star Apple Jam has an, uh, the chance of whenever you take damage, you reflect it back. Yeah. Yeah. I also really like um, uh, Spine Fruit and Salve. Whenever you take damage, you might heal. It's yeah, yeah, good. that's a... Um, a commenter on one of my streams clued me in on how good mushroom related recipes are good. Um, yeah, they can be really good too. I had, I've like completely undervalued luminous horse shrooms and stuff like that, but they start to make a lot of sense if like when you eat mushrooms, you get healed by a huge chunk. Yeah. All right. We, oh, rusted archway. Okay. It's on the way to good gate. Since we have a checkpoint, we could do the archway, the actual like gateway at the bottom. Oh, yeah, I can, like, step through it and see where it goes. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. Oh, the crocusins, though. Yeah, rip crocusins. No. Oh, hey. Do we have, like, the full set of chain goods now? Basically. There's the chain mail if we didn't already have one. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Not as useful for your character. Yeah. I think. But still nice. Here's an idea for a mod. You can add the spiked modification to boots. So the only time you can use them, the only time they would potentially bleed someone is if you kick them away while using your rifle. Kickback? Yeah. yeah. There you go. Kickback related buffs to boots. That would be kind of funny. I feel like um, there could be a good skill, agility based skill that's just like kick kick them back. Like maybe even like a, um, a swing back attack where like when you hit them, I you mean, have a chance to knock them away. Isn't that slam? Yeah, that is slam. Yeah, but then we can't add spiked to boots. Come on. <laughs> I want masterwork spiked boots with scope, of course. Yeah, right. Yeah. Double barreled. Double Scoped barreled boots. shoes. Did I ever tell you about uh, one of my silly mod ideas was uh, pumped up kicks <laughs> that were like Air Jordans and you could uh, spend an action to pump your shoes. And for every time you pumped it, it increased your jump range by one. That's really good. Until you jump or move. Do they do they eventually like kind of deflate on their own after a while? No, no, like after you take the jump or move. Yeah. Yeah, it 
like the buff goes away but so you just like you know you see the horde of enemies just kind of descend on your position and you're just and you're there, like i gotta you know, pump up my shoes <laughs> <laughs> and then you like jump across <laughs> that's amazing i thought it would be pretty great huh oh huh. salt hover i've been coming across a lot of yeah. those late lately i think they got added to the like pool of uh weapons which they should have always been how come how come though there is no salt hopper farmer i don't know that sells salt hopper mandibles wait oh, okay never mind i was gonna say is there a second gateway it's just a door i don't know why there's a door there what unauthorized glyph yeah we don't have a security card this is a um very rare almost completely flawless <clears throat> gateway like it nothing's broken yeah, it does appear that uh, the door is broken. Oh. <laughs> you close the door and it completes the circuit. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now, so could you break the door? I always make a mistake here in, like, how to repair these the wiring correctly. Could you just, like, lay down uh, wiring around it? I mean, I think it's just I don't have the security access for it. No, oh, that can't be it. All right, well, we got to get into the... Break our way into the other one. Oh my god. Um, let's see what we got here. Oh, hey. Communications. Carbide it's, hand bones. Yeah, right. My, my favorite hunt, bone. Um, yeah, because I think, think it's like, right? Hmm. Well, that's a bummer. I didn't even know that was a thing. You need to get the, uh, like one of the security cards or psychometry or bananas <laughs> or cook with bananas. You know, it's good tech when it starts with bananas. Huh? <laughs> You no, know, it's good gumbo. Is that? <laughs> Never mind. It's a juice set. Oh, we need to reload. I want, here's an idea for, I'm just like throwing up mod ideas this whole episode. Here's an idea for a mod. Um, you, the ignore trivial except for saps. Eh. If you wanted to write a list of all the monsters that you possibly want the except for, I could probably do something that would do that. Like a second classification of danger. Um... Yeah, what that's what we wanted to do. We were just preserving because we had a bunch of meat. Though we haven't taken harvester yet. Is that a solar panel? I Hydraulic don't... irrigator. Wow, the honey skunk really helped us out there. Well, we were going to play around at that. Uh, <laughs> I love this. See what we could do with the technology here, but, Sounds you know, the honey skunk just melted half of it. <laughs> Sounds of destruction as the honey skunk just walks away. It's, it's that meme with the kids smiling in yeah. the foreground as this building's on fire. <laughs> Uh, I like learning these. The solar pumping station. Oh, we got some algal, algal water. Grab, oh, we can we can't we can't grab some of that algal water, can we? Well, I mean, we can always mark where it is. What do we need algal for? Uh, algal gives um, reputation with consortium of phyta when cooked with when or, cooked, yeah, or uh, burgeoning, which I've only recently understood the full value of. If it's high enough level, it's pretty good. Uh, we are not inspired. Let's just. Uh, commemorate our visit how cursed will the great great yeah waiting till level 14 to go to great gate is honestly not a terrible idea waiting well i mean you know like delaying yeah i don't think i was like delaying that i just just finally showed up you know yeah i great gate more and more becomes like one of my least favorite journeys well so i like the new i like plan that i worked in there for like detouring to get the free cooking and gathering and then buying Carbide Chef is like when you would normally only buy cooking and gathering, you know? Right. Horns. Level 10 already. What? Yeah. And at this point, we're not going to be able to raise horns again for a while. But we'll constantly check in on it. But now is when we kind of go, okay, which one of these gives us plus one right now? So we could get plus one. You got a we'll lot do of it. agility. We'll do it with toughness because toughness will give us... Um, It'll it'll give us an even number of toughness. I didn't realize right. it increased our sprint also. Yeah. Damn. There's a lot of little hidden buffs in CUD that I'm still discovering. Uh, and again, I like to be able to tinker, so uh, we're going to raise some intelligence. It'll also get us some more skill points. Um, might as well take butchery. We're going to head to the garbage chute soon enough anyway. Want that uh, uh, trash do Can we take trash divining? Yeah debating we could also take that. <laughs> just the base customs and folklore is also really good for the water rituals if we want a water ritual anyone coming up um 
Can you learn trash divining from like a legendary trash monk? No, I don't think so, but that would be nice if you could, right? Sorry to God, uh, one day I am going to learn how to mod this game. And then I will be too powerful. Um, there's actually going to be a talk at Roguelike uh, Celebration this year. Shoutouts to Roguelike Celebration. I don't know if it already happened by the time you're watching this, but uh, someone is putting in a talk this year, which is 2023. Depending on how far in the future you were watching this, it might be available. I appreciate how future proofing you are for this. How much uh, future proofing we're doing? That's good. This uh, this uh, series also available on Godot, by the way. Mm. Man, this is terrible. We're not getting our silly stuff. Oh wait. Looking for that uh, twenty five percent chance to lose a negative status effect. Yep. Okay. Okay. Yeah, someone had a normality grenade, and they were happy to use it. That's, uh, there's always the one Pewtis Templar on the way to Grit Gate, right? Yeah. Which I know, like, there's, I think, the theory that that's a scout, or I think you told me yeah. that maybe that's a scout. Future, uh, foreshadowing, which is a redundant statement. <laughs> one day I'm gonna do a bow run, and compound bow will be exciting to me. So I don't think you've had any novice of the sightless way. Ooh. I don't think we did either. We already got all the chain stuff, though. Yeah. I think I'm just going to leave it there. Yeah, it would only be one AV bonus, and you'd absolutely tank your DV, so... Oh, you already tanked your DV at one point. I guess I didn't notice that. Yeah, we, uh... When we switched over to all the chain. Right. Yeah, because we had, like, 12, 15 DV. Mm -hmm. That was nice. I mean, our agility will still go up quite a bit, so... Right. We'll still have a decent amount of DV. Ah. <sighs> All right, we're dropping the bear meat. It's not that important to get jerky. There's plenty of bear meat in the world. I actually sometimes just turn off butchering because it gets annoying. Yeah. Turn it I also kind of wish that once you add cooking and gathering, you could just hit preserve on a... But it makes sense that you can only do it at the campfire. Yeah, it does. Oh, goodbye, crocusins. How about how about a piece of equipment that, like, like a stalker-style, like, um, uh, you know, like portable cooker? Yeah. That automatically preserves your meats. There you go. True M. Tru M. All right, we made it to Great Gate. I don't know if we made it this far. Oh yeah, we made it to Bethesda Susa in our previous run. And then we Yeah, had, I think we did too. We had a certified Rimwick uh, moment. I Might didn't as well. Didn't you pick up a floating glow sphere? No. Oh. You convinced me not to buy it. You were like, no, no, I no, wouldn't no, pay no. for that. I think I, I know you didn't buy one. I thought you literally picked up a glow sphere. I might. I guess not. Hmm, I wonder if we forgot it. Because I know I saw one at one point. It may, might not have been floating, but it was a glow sphere. I remember seeing the glow sphere icon. I wonder if it had got exploded. It might have gotten blown up by a feral law. That is extremely possible. It was in feral law land. It was in la la land. <laughs> feral la la land. All right. Uh, you didn't really have anything I wanted, though. Well. I should get rid of some of this weight, though. No, go ahead, go ahead and buy the floating glow sphere since we're not finding it. I told Galen not to buy an advanced um, toolkit for like 20 episodes because I was like, we'll find one for sure. They're not uncommon. And then we just never found one. And we're like doing advanced tinkering. I was like, okay, just buy it. <laughs> it's not showing up. And then I believe he found one like the next, which is always how these things go. But sometimes, you know, here's, you know, I'm not, I don't believe in the determinism. But I do believe yeah. in in belligerent cud shenanigans, and I do yeah. believe that that advanced toolkit would not have shown its face had we not bought it. Yeah, I mean that's once you buy it, it puts it in the RNG pool, right? Yeah, onward to Yopa. Eww. If only we had a. So I, I I've the six day still recoiler had been has been recently like nuked from from orbit. It never has existed. I. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know about that one. I swear to God, I've seen six day stilt recoilers. Oh, becoming Nook Ruin. Shit. Well, we're finding all kinds of fun stuff. Do you have um, Salt Dunes Wayfaring? Mm, I think I picked it up, but maybe not. Meatballs. Nope. Nope. Just High Ant. Also, is that our um, Salt Dunes historic site? Yes. Stuff. Oh. <laughs> it's everyone's favorite sound effect. All right, just book stuff. Caves of book. The fungicide miner. 
Did by baboons. Okay. Programming their favorite robot. I mean, that's certainly unkind. Is that the mechanimus sound effect? No, that was the baboon sound effect, I think. Uh, there's so many factions. I, I, I actually find it kind of like mind blowing that there would be a sound effect for each of them when you make a uh, break bread or share water. I can't, I can't do it, Lily Hart. I'm sorry. Oh no! What was, what was going on there? What was there? Oh, I'll, uh, I'll do a look again. Dislike by Unshield, yeah. Hated and by merchants. merchants Guild, yeah. yeah. Eh. I always find that Zezeper has, or Zepper has like the worst I think, reputation. I think like so there are a few that are just like forced to spawn with negative stuff. So anyway, while traveling through Mipper, Ixamath the Third stopped in a market in Shikish Tangle at an obscure shop. He purchased an arbitrary bracelet and named it the Arbitrary Friend Ixer Map Spoon. He then went to a nearby tavern and lost the Arbitrary Friend Ixer Map Spoon to a local pickpocket. He cursed the tavern and left Shekish Tangle. I love Shekish Tangle. That's like one of the best tavern names. Yeah, that Reshef lore you can learn by playing Caves of Code and <laughs> reading that statue. All right, so uh, as long as we're here, I think we already looked at... Why? What is happening? Uh, there's a fight happening over there. Someone about to curse another tavern? Oof. Is that Lily Heart? The Ventner? Yeah, Lily Heart went over and just like killed the Ventner. <laughs> so I guess there's like a pile of wine somewhere over here. Oh no, it's the chaos moment. Oh no. Someone invoked the chaos spiel over here. <laughs> oh, there's the corpse. Yeah. Hey, look, free wine. Dang. Drinks are on that guy. Oh, you're doing some advanced uh, liquid management, which I should definitely learn to do better. Are they done fighting? Nope. nope. <laughs> I don't know who's fighting who or why, but... Atop the hulking pyramids. I think it was because she hated the Merchants Guild. She's, like, just going around murdering all the merchants. Oh, L Lily Heart can throw a punch. Yeah. She's she's pretty serious. She can throw hooves. Oh, man. This is a pretty terrible... Oh, uh, we're only one tile deep. Yeah. Well, I mean, the first tile was a war. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's, that's fair. So I, I recently discovered the benefits of proselytizing worms, <laughs> specifically birthworms. Because then you just eventually get a little army. Mirthworms. They can be good. While traveling through the winter's Aramites district of Sapur, Yixermas the second stopped at a tavern in New Kirkud. There she lost her prize, Delighticus, Antelope's favor to a fool heartily, but she left the she cursed the tavern and left New Kirkud. A lot of, lot of sure tavern that's... cursors. Yeah. Not a not a good tavern in this dang cud. Not a single well, I mean, one. we are still getting some pretty... Uh, Okay, we got at least one cook here. One chef, really. Well, concentrated sleep beard. Isn't it? it is. We'll probably buy some. I like that. Grab uh, some spine fruit for now. Get a mashed lag. Why are we buying spine fruit? We're in the six days still with harvest. I don't think we grabbed that much of it, though. Ooh. Cloneling? Cloneling? Cloneling drought. Well, uh, so you're not going to take that, right? Because or are we going to go learn proselytize from the Pope? Uh, no, we'll probably just, uh, buy it. It's a lot of money we don't have. Uh, we're pretty close. Um, but also, depending on what else we can buy, we have other ways. I did make the like, mistake potentially. the other day of, of trying to beguile a chef because they had Neutron Flux. And he he did, he did not like that. <laughs> but you weren't high enough level to, like, meet the level check, probably. Yeah. We'll see who else is here. Santa Claus. We will probably try to buy that, though. Uh, somewhere in the scientist district of Uruk, Ixermeth the first came to trough a jeweled sapphire's trove. For the rest of his life, he was obsessed with amethysts. I thought we already knew that. Also, why was he obsessed with amethysts? He found sapphires. Yeah. Ooh, maze beard. I can't remember which one it is. Um, that's confusion and breath, right? Yeah, that's confusion. Maze beard, maze beard yeah. is confusion, but I'm trying to remember which one's the stun breath. It's still beard? Sounds right. Yeah. Makes sense. Crushed Grave Moss is one that I never remember what it does. I think it's cold-based effects of cheese. What does the cheese do? Are they just snacks? I think so. I suppose we could... We're going to sell... You're going to sell the Traveling Rod of Ubermore? Yeah. I don't think we need to sell it to the chef, though. No. Eh. Oh, is that our first skim? The Maddox Drafter. Oh, I love... I love Polarized because of one specific yeah. run I ran. They're real good. Uh, Chain Laser is pretty nice. <laughs> I, I don't think I'm going to buy it, though. But oh, it was that's interesting. Gonna be, that's going to be Tinker 3, probably. Tinker 2. 
Oh, it's nice. high as bid as five, so. Oh, is that the gate? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. It's complexity. So is six Tinker 3 then? I think it's seven for Tinker 3. Um, Fire Ant Gaster Paste. Yeah, that's a pretty good one. Let's, um, not, not like supremely necessary though, that banana. Well, if you, if you get it, you can make blaze injectors, right? Oh, the gaster paces for, yeah, I guess. We don't have the recipe yet though. No, but you do have a blaze injector and now you have banana. True. We could get, uh, we might end up with, uh, so we have 273, uh, yeah, 400, 600, 800, 900, 1,000, we have 1,000. I don't think we have any hidden extreme value. <laughs> if only we hadn't dropped all that kudzu. Yeah, right. Oh, I guess it's we not a thousand though. We don't have a blaze injector. What happened? No, I uh, I preserved one. Oh, huh. I've never thought to do that. <laughs> I I there are moments where I would unironically do that because for some reason love injectors specifically are really annoying in that they don't show your face like ever. And then, They're really hard to use on uh, this build in particular. Don't uh, tonics count as short blades? Uh, they do. But I suppose they don't have a high pen. But switching from your primary weapon as your horn to your hand is a pain in the ass. Right. Uh, we are inspired, so. That's why I always, um, more and more, I'm just con uh, turning it into, yeah, congealed and then using the beguiling. That's pretty nice. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Her uh, her campfire did not get the. Uh... All right, so let's drink some water. Here's a here's a mod idea. Uh, drink fresh water on a cool on a quick bind. Sure. There you go. It's done. Oh my god. Heck yeah. Drips onto the convex present. Okay, so I, I, the specifics um, about beguiling. It doesn't last forever, right? Nope. But if you freeze a tile, it'll last mostly forever. Uh, it should still, like, end the cooldown. Okay. Uh, but it can last for a while, yeah. The the trick that I usually use, this one was kind of weird, but, like, what I'll generally do is, like, now that... The only thing is I'm worried about doing it to this ray cat, because I feel like the ray cat could actually fuck someone up. I'm not worried about that dude over there, though. So we're going to stand next to this guy. We're going to drink some water. Because you don't want it to be stuck on her right right so you just beguile something else before you leave the tile is it because they don't renew their goods if they're beguiled yeah right so that works the same as proselytize right yeah okay yeah that's kind of what i was leading towards is like proselytize doesn't end ever um <clears throat> so you would want to try and proselytize something else so that they actually renew their goods and then we kill the. did i just take a zealot with us yeah yeah all right Take them to Golgotha. <laughs> yeah, that is kind of where we're heading. It's like you, uh, you know, your friends to technology. We're, we're going to see the, the trash pit of the world. Fermenting with salt. Yeah, hey, all right. That sounds interesting. Going to be a lot of mmm in that book. <laughs> <laughs> the, the caves of Cud, yeah. All right, so now we just need to find someone to sell our shit to. Uh... If only we had... A legendary gem cutter. Yeah, I was going to say, was there a gem cutter? I don't think there was a gem cutter anywhere, was there? You have something I can buy. Sure. Sure. Oh, we still need to read our three cookbooks. The uh, uh, It's all slime. <laughs> <laughs> it's all it's all pretty gross. I mean, baking punctured servings with slime drips <laughs> onto the convex present. I didn't realize that the book's titles would actually give you a small clue. This one didn't, though. Unless the theme is liquids? Yeah, maybe. Hmm. Hey, that one lets you jump twice. Yeah. That's kind of fun. Jump two more times. Oh, shit. So three times, actually. Risk it with brine schnitzel. All right. Let's uh, trade. Because I have a bunch of random stuff down here that I kind of want to get rid of before I leave here. So I'm going to keep one of those, honey. Probably don't just need. Just in case. Get rid of uh, seven drams of salt. Hmm. Just based on how much money we had, let's just buy Polarized. Heck yeah. I thought we had more weird liquid money than that. Flashbang run? Uh, where? No, we just, we just, we just make it a flashbang run. Yeah. Where are we going? Uh, Yopa. Let's see if we have enough power. Nice. Cool. Did Mafia restock? I don't think he did. It didn't say so. What do we got here? 
I was kind of hoping he might have a... Because we don't have a cell. I'd be tempted to buy that hyper tractor if you've got money to burn. Just to uh, disassemble it. Not a half bad idea. We need to sell the carbide hand bones. <laughs> they are 15 pounds. Does they actually weigh your character down when you get them installed? Uh, I don't think so. We need to buy let's those just, spectacles. Uh, let's just buy this weird artifact. Okay. That's our second fungicide grenade. Yeah, we probably don't need more than one. <laughs> we probably don't even need the one. I saw nope. a rare... Lost in the jungle. Everyone's favorite place to be. I'm pretty sure our follower is going to die here. He just leveled up. <laughs> You're trying to get him killed. Come on, yeah, I mean, Zealot. Who wants, a who wants a Zealot? Uh, Rip. I was rooting for you, Zealot. You only had, he only had to do five damage to that centipede. Yeah. Ooh. Nice. All right, cool. I kind of hate being lost in the jungle right now, so that, thanks for that game. Oh, hey. Oh, wait, wait. I just realized we still haven't gotten our recipe. That's we right. We could just risk getting sick. Yeah, we still don't have it. Jeez. It's usually pretty easy to get. Yeah. Just one of the many ways in which RNG... Well, we have uh, honey. You could just cook a meal with honey to get resistance. True. We could also just uh, BM for a little bit and wander around here. Well, this uh, episode's actually running quite long. Oh. Let's, um, Perhaps let's we should just uh, set a poll or something. Uh, not that that's the way recording works. Um, <laughs> uh, delicious. Modest boar hair ordained foamcrete flake. Quillipede quill and a dram of fortuitous scrapple like products. Heck yeah. It's not a cud meal if you aren't eating microchips. <laughs> they uh, you can't, they're not, you can't do the microchips. <laughs> they, you can't just eat one. It's like All the right. Doritos. Yeah. So. All right. If you are enjoying this series at home, definitely hit the like button. Consider subscribing, the full word. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.